Morning, fuckers. Well, it's cold today. Uh, just got into the garage now. I just turned the heater on. Uh, uh, there it is. You can see the blue. Um, yeah, whew. it's fucking, it's a cold day. Uh, we haven't had much for winter this year, but uh, I mean, other than, than cold, it gets real cold. Um, yeah, beats, uh, I don't like a whole lot of snow, so beats having a whole lot of snow, but uh, the temperature's been weird. You know, it's going from like 10 degrees Celsius where I'm out riding on the Harley and, uh, to, you know, minus 10. So, yeah, whew. I still see my breath. Anyways, this heater takes a few minutes to warm up. Uh, I'm going to run outside, start my car, let it warm up, uh, and then I'll come back in. We're going to lift the Murray up next. Uh, I got the carb off last night after I finished recording because you've all seen carburetors a thousand times so no point in showing you that but uh, there it is that's everything all pulled apart um, so I'm going to lift this up and uh, put the new pulley on the crankshaft and uh, then I'm going to see if I can find some rope or a rope or something in this mess uh, the old belt I threw out way back, so I gotta find some rope or something, wrap it around the pulley system, uh, figure out what's gonna be my superior fitment for the clutch, and then measure it, and then we'll head down to TSC and get the last few things we need. Uh, and actually, while I'm sitting here thinking about it right now. <laughs> Take the jerry can with us too. Because we're going to need gasoline. Okay. Well, uh, give me a few minutes, sir. Well, it's getting warm in here now. Unfortunately, I'm about to shut the heat off and fuck off. But uh, here we go. Just making a list. Uh, we need belts. Well, we need one belt, but I'm going to go grab a couple. Uh, I measured out to 90 and a quarter, seems to be uh, pretty proper. Uh, we need gas, we need carb cleaner, and I'm sure there is something else, but maybe not. Oh well, if I remember anything while I'm driving, I'll write it down. Alrighty, well, just left TSC, tractor supply store. Got two belts, one's 90 inch. I measured out perfect, would have been 90 and a quarter which isn't much. Uh, so I got a 90 inch and a 92. There's really nothing else in that area. So that kind of sucks, but give you an idea how cold as it is, uh, how cold out it is today. I went in TFC, my car was obviously at operating temperature. I come out, it's almost bone fucking cold again. Bone cold. Stone cold. <laughs> so it's warming up again. Anyways, uh, fuel up there is too expensive, so it's like three cents cheaper just down the road here. So I'll get the gas by my house instead of up here. Um, I got a can of carb cleaner. Holy shit, with the markup, six bucks. I got the exact stuff that I would get that I get at work and I pay a dollar ninety a can at work. That's a pretty huge markup, but I guess everybody's gonna make money. It's not even carb cleaner actually, it's just brake cleaner. Carb cleaner and brake cleaner are the same damn thing, so just in case anybody was ever wondering that. Um, other than that Said I got the belts, got uh, brake cleaner slash carb cleaner, and all that's left now is to get some fuel. See, it's a dollar or uh, 91.7 here. I think it was 91.5 by my house, so and it was uh, 94 up where we just were. So, of course, that's because that gas station's right beside the 401, so they charge a little more. People just hop off the expressway right there and back on the expressway again, so, anyway, uh, I'm going to stop recording for now, because this is just fucking rambling on, and, uh, yeah, oh, wait, 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 before I do that,
that. This is this is the women's penitentiary of, of Ontario here. Look at that. That's Grand Valley Institution for Women. That's a women's penitentiary. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> And I actually just used, I used to live directly across the street there, my backyard, just on the left-hand side of the road here, right across from that fucking place. <laughs> but, uh, now I just live down the road from it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if anybody was wondering, that's where the, that's basically, uh, Ontario's big penitentiary for murderous women. You know, the ones who got married to men. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just gonna get fuel now and then we'll continue on. Well, fuck. Got a 90 inch belt and a 92 inch belt and uh, way off, way off still. I don't even know. The measuring technique I used, yeah, I know it's not exact, but it should give you, should get you in the ballpark and uh, nope, nope, not even. So 92 is even too small. Um, so I'm going to go back, which is fucking lovely because I have to drive all the way across town again to get there, uh, and go with, uh, see I guess what, what's next size up, 94, 95, something like that, and then uh, that should get us closer anyways, and then grab another size up from that. Fuck sakes, I hate shit like this. <laughs> It's a guessing game, and when you live far away from the supply, it's a uh, pain in the cock. So, oh well. Way she goes, boys. Well, it sucks because I have to drive back to TSC, which is all the way across town, like I've already stated. But, I remember that one thing that I was forgetting now fuel filter. I wanted to put a new fuel filter on that tractor too. Um, the other one I have no idea how old it is plus it had that old shitty stale green sludgy fuel in it so I was just going to clean it out with uh, brake cleaner after I remembered all this was when I got home. Uh, the first time I remembered then I thought oh, I'll just clean it up with brake cleaner but now, since I need to go back regardless, uh, I guess I may as well grab a fuel filter. It sucks, I live about 30 kilometers away from the tractor supply. And, uh, the real annoying thing about it is I can go to, like, Canadian Tire, and probably do this. <coughs> I'm not sure what their belt selection is like. I can't imagine it's that good. Um, so it's just easier to go to a place that specializes in, you know, tractors, farm equipment, crap like that. Stuff that actually uses those large belts. So, oh well, way she goes, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll get it sorted out anyway. Oh, this is fucking hilarious, guys. I can't fucking win today. Nope. Nope, I can't. Uh, so I'm from a 92 inch. Thought that's way too fucking small. Then there was a 94. And then there was uh, 96 and 98. So I got 96 and 98. Thinking that's. That's got to be one of those two. Well, I put the 96 on first. Ah, so it's on. Uh, I'm not keyed up or anything here, but it's still fucking too sloppy. Way too sloppy. Clutches, you know, right maxed. Right maxed out. Fuck's sakes. Ah. Although, now you can get a good idea of what I was talking about down here, that's why we had to do this modification, see how the belt is going to ram right into there. Oh, for fuck's sakes. So now, I get to make the third fucking trip today to TS motherfucking C, take these back, and get the 94. I think a 95 would probably be perfect, but 
the next size down is a 94, so, and then the one after that is a 92, so we already know that one's too fucking small, so. Oh, this is driving me fucking bonkers. Okay, well, look at this. The 94 is on there, and it's way too tight. Like, that's as tight as it should be if, as if it was driving. Clutch is now disengaged, and the fucking pulley's not even on there. I can't even move it enough. Ah, I'm losing my fucking mind here. The 96 was way too sloppy. The 94 is way too fucking tight. Oh, it's just driving me fucking up the wall. Fuck's sake. I need a 95 inch belt. Fuck. I don't think anybody even makes a fucking 95 inch belt. Ah, I, I don't know what to do. I'm almost ready to just call it a fucking day and put this on the back burner. But uh. Alright, well, I'm going to shut all this down again. I already know for a fact TSC doesn't have a... 95 inch belt, so I'm not going to drive all the way back there just to return this thing right now. Uh, so, what I'll do is run over to Canadian Mafaka, see if they got a 95 inch belt, hopefully they do, and if not I'm going to have to order one online, which puts this project on hold again. Fucking Christ. Alright, anyways, to Canadian Mafaka now. Yeah, this is really annoying. Fuck, I really thought I had it that time, but I guess not. Uh, oh well. See, there are ways to make what I got work. I could, uh, for example, unbolt the engine from the tractor and oblong the fucking bolt holes to make it adjustable and all that shit. I mean, I can move stuff around, but I'd rather just have the fucking crack size belt on the damn thing. So, we're gonna run up to uh, Canadian Mafka, and uh, we got an advance here, but everybody's sleeping apparently. Oh, look at that. One car got through. Oh, two cars got through, and then the other one ran, ran the red light. Sweet. <sighs> fucking retards in this city. So, That would have been good to have on camera. <sighs> like I said, I'd rather just have the right fucking belt. You wouldn't believe how fucking hard it is to find a damn belt. The tire doesn't have jack shit. So... Now we're gonna go to Home Depot. I'm not even going to try Walmart because I already fucking know that they aren't going to have jack shit either. Well, nothing here. Okay guys, well, I just threw the carb back together. It only took about two minutes. Not too many components to this carburetor. Just, I think there's only two jets and uh, the, uh, the float, that was about it. So. Here we go, ready to fire it up. Um, I put fresh fuel in here and cleaned all the, the filter and the lines out. Uh, it doesn't look like it's leaking or anything, so. All right, I'll give her some choke. There we go, full bore choke. Got the switch on for fuel flow. Oh, it runs pretty much perfect. She likes that idle so Yeah, it's litter. The thing I don't like about this is you have to have a full fucking throttle for it to choke. And that I don't like, so I'm gonna set the camera down. I'm gonna change that in the future too, for sure.
kill switch. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing I'm going to start doing is uh, looking for some proper uh, terrain tires for it, not these turf pieces of crap. So uh, I'm going to put this belt back in the package and hopefully I can get a 95 inch belt Friday so we can finally drive this damn thing. I'm very impatient when it comes to things like this. <laughs> I want to rip it, but oh well. I'll have to wait and see what Friday brings us. Uh, if I can't get one on Friday anywhere, I'm just going to have to order one offline, so online, from offline, whatever. And uh, that just sucks because getting back into uh, going back to work on Monday, so that blows. Won't have much time after uh, Friday, so. Um, on the plus side, uh, it's going into January now, so the shortest day of the year is December 21st. Uh, so days start getting longer at this point, so it won't be too long until we actually have uh, still have some daylight when I get home from work soon. So that'll be decent. I was just looking at some comments from the first Murray mower build uh, video. Uh, a couple questions as to what happened to my shop. Why well, I don't have a shop anymore? Well, uh, I had to give that up when I moved to where I am now. Uh, that's strictly because it's literally a half hour closer to work. And uh, where I was out there was just, I was basically, I was living out there too. I rented a place out there where I, where I also rented my shop. So it, uh, too much of a commute. Uh, and in the winter out there, there's, there's, there is road service for removal of snow. Um, but basically, it's like two or three days after the snowfall, so just having a little front wheel drive car, it's, you can do it, but it's a pain in the ass. You really need a truck out there for, for the winter. Uh, and of course I like my TDI because I can fill that thing for 40 bucks, 45 bucks, worst case scenario, the beginning of the month and drive all month, easy. Uh, sometimes even longer. So that's pretty much the reason for that. Plus, obviously, renting the the place I was living and the shop was very expensive. Uh, where I live now, I actually live. This is my uh, stepbrother's house. Uh, I uh, I get a good good deal on rent here. Uh, I do have my own. Like it's the house is more or less. Uh, it's basically a duplex. Um, so I have a basement, and uh, he lives in the upstairs. Uh, but he's never here anyways because he's a contractor and he's usually away so that works out nicely uh, and what was the, uh, the the other thing was oh I look like I've put on some weight <laughs> uh, yeah I put on a little bit of weight it's actually not as much as you would think uh, cameras seem to add 10 pounds it's what they say it seems to be true for me anyways but uh, basically, uh, yeah, I put on some weight when I, uh, I got rid of the shop uh, and quit smoking and started actually eating healthy all at the same time. Uh, so I wasn't, uh, basically your body's not processing that shitty fast food all the time. Uh, so when you eat better, it obviously sticks with you a little longer. Uh, not having the shop, I, I kind of lost a little bit of physical activity. Uh, there was there's not as much to do here. This is the first time I've been able to work in this garage It's usually just so packed full of my stepbrother's contract and crap and everything so that and uh, 
well, I finally got heat out here now. <clears throat> uh, and in the summer, I always came straight home from work, usually. If I even came home from work, uh, it depends. If I took the Harley to work, I'd just go straight after work and go ride for the night. Uh, and then if I didn't take the bike to work, then I'd bring the car home, get changed quick, and grab the bike, and away I went, like I was off again. So, laziness, a little bit of laziness probably has something to do with it. Um, my job's not overly physically demanding. Um, the, the hardest part to my job is lifting. Uh, lifting up, uh, like lifting transmissions up off the floor and literally up over your head. Uh, to bolt them back up sort of thing, um, pulling engines, uh, other than that, I basically, when I bring in a vehicle, I, I pull the motor out and I uh, put it on a stand and I, uh, I pretty much stand up my toolbox for two or three days while I strip it down and do a full rebuild sort of thing. That's the kind of stuff that I do, um, building these uh, high performance cars, that's pretty much all I can really give you on that one. I would love to bring my camera to work. Uh, been talking to to the boss about it a little bit, and uh, we're we're probably going to work something out, kind of make a little bit of a uh, YouTube show out of it, maybe. That's a maybe, uh, and even if we do, I have no idea when it might happen. So, um, so there's a couple of the questions that I keep getting asked. Uh, hopefully, those are satisfactory answers for you. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a little more work now. Uh, try and get a little more active. Uh, so that uh, I can lose a little bit of the weight that I put on. Uh, I feel like I'm at a healthy weight though. Uh, I definitely feel good since you know I don't smoke anymore and I don't eat shitty fast food anymore. So, uh, one thing at a time guys. Anyways, uh, I clean this shit up here and uh, shut her down and get inside and clean up and get laundry in and all that other crap. So I don't know what we're doing tonight for New Year's Eve, but uh, it's something. Anyways, uh, <coughs> <coughs> Happy New Year's to uh, all of you, and uh, enjoy your evenings, and uh, good luck in the new year, guys. Uh, definitely going to do some more videos this year. Uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Cheers and beers, fellas, and ladies, and whoever's watching. Later.